Heroin Highway, the Upper Valley, continues to be a hot spot for out of state drug dealers. Because of its location at the intersection of Interstate 89 and 91, those who live in Hartford say they're being forced to deal with a growing drug problem. WPTZ's Ashley Allen is here now with more on how the town plans to combat heroin in its community. Ashley. Well, Bridget, since last year, the number of drug-related arrests has more than doubled in Hartford. Now town officials are holding a special meeting to discuss what can be done to stop that statistic from growing. I guess the message is if, if you're going to deal drugs, don't come to Hartford because we'll hunt you down and we'll take whatever steps are necessary to uh, put you away. Ken Parker has lived in Hartford his entire life. He's hopeful Tuesday night's select board meeting will help address the town's growing drug problem. What we're trying to do is get a handle on what we can do uh, to stem the volume of uh, drug dealing that's been going on here. The Windsor County State's Attorney, along with representatives from the Hartford Public Safety Department and School Board, will also participate in the workshop. We're looking to bring the focus on what we have in the way of resources, what might be needed for resources, hoping that that uh, reveals uh, some opportunities for co better cooperation uh, among the municipalities here in the core of the Upper Valley region. Better cooperation and potentially better funding. And I think this board is, is dedicated to um, supporting uh, the need for additional funding so that we can have a steadily increasing uh, number of uh, personnel to rely on. Reesburg says the town needs to expand its police department in order to really crack down on drug dealers. It's clearly spiked within the last uh, 12 to 18 months or so uh, markedly. So it's not just a steady trend that's becoming annoying. It's a, it's a marked uh, and, and measurable change in the activity, uh, drug activity that we've monitored. They need it. They need the backup. They need the equipment. They need the people. Not manpower is what they need. Peter Gilbo lives just off Maple Street in White River Junction. He says the drug problem has gotten so bad, he's no longer surprised when he sees drug deals happen in the middle of the day. Down the end of the street here, just after the Mascoma Bank, and they sell it right from the cars. Now, the town manager says he hopes to involve the school board as much as possible because the younger generations are even more at risk. In the Upper Valley Newsroom, Ashley Allen, WPTZ News Channel 5.